Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Today our topic is about Muslim prayer. You know, I mean, every day we come with a new issue to speak about and the purpose is to make you be aware of the falsehood of Islam. You know, when somebody say, I, I pray. I mean, the first question is, you pray to who? It doesn't make sense that you pray to somebody you do not know. And Muslims do not know even who is Allah. They don't even know what Allah means. If you remember, we have many videos in this channel. They are still there. We have question who is Allah. And zero Muslim was able to answer. Very simple question. But what make it more horrible, that the Muslim they pray, and they have to pray in a certain time, in a certain language, even though they don't speak the language, which means just move your lips and make a sound like you speak the language. And this God, he is an Arabian God who want to receive your prayer only in Arabic. And he wants you to pray in five time. And the story behind five time is very funny. Later we can mention it. Uh, but the, the, the main question is why Muslims they pray? I have my Skype open, if there is any Muslim can tell me why they pray, what, what uh, and how you pray. If you go to the internet and you search how Muslim pray, you will not believe it, how funny this religion is. How Muslims pray. So just go search and Google, here we go. You have tons of uh, websites and even uh, images to show you how to pray. You have to put your hands in a certain way, your fingers, and your right hand in the top of the left hand, and then you have to put your hands down in your knee in a certain way, and then you have to bow down in a certain way. I mean, if there's anything is missing, your prayer is invalid. And before you pray, you have to do ablution, which Muhammad, he learned from other religion, and we showed you before how Muhammad do ablution. The ablution of Muhammad is very sick and very, you know, very filthy because ablution supposedly you're preparing yourself to be clean. But as you see, even the mosque of Allah, the house of Allah, the, this word of Muhammad himself, he pray. Dogs, they go inside the mosque and they piss and Muslims don't even clean the urine. So purification is a is a is a lie because how how you purify yourself when the house itself is full of piss of dogs and nobody clean it. Uh, Muhammad he jump in a water have dead dogs and women blood from period, and this is how to prepare himself to pray. So now he is getting cleaner. This is how he get a cleaner. So. After I get a cleaner by jumping with water, have dead dogs and women blood from period and garbage. And as you see, this is Muslim translation. This is not mine. This is a website run by Muhammadans, uh, the black stone kissers. I have nothing to do with it. It's called sunnah.com. As you see. So now we are preparing ourselves to meet the holy God, if he is holy by jumping in water have dead dogs and women of blood from period and garbage. And here I need to ask myself a question. What is my God exactly? I mean, how I prepare myself to meet this God, if I can meet him, at least spiritually. Remember, the God of Islam is not a spirit. Many Christians, they think that the Muslims, when they speak about their God, they believe in God as a spirit. That because the, those Christians are ignorant. Christian, they have different understanding too. They think that when a Muslim he say genie, they are talking about demon. Muslim do not believe in demon, and demon are not a spirit. Demon are physical being. They can have sex, uh, even with Muslim women and Muslim men, and they eat their food and they steal even their gadget like your iPad. You can search right now in Google for a Saudi family suing their genie who live in the house for stealing their stuff, including food. 
So uh, uh, this is the purpose of us being here is to clean, uh, you know, the misunderstanding of Islam by the ignorant one, even from those who call themselves Christians or even those who call themselves priests. They don't know what Islam is about. They just throw things at you and they say to you, as an example, you will see a Muslim, uh, sorry, a Christian priest saying to you, or maybe he's a bishop. He says to you, Islam is an Abrahamic religion. In fact, this is absolutely evil statement from an ignorant man, and he is a dummy to the bones. Uh, you know, uh, I know that the Muslim they say believe in Abraham. I know that the Quran mentioned Abraham. Uh, I know that Muslims they claim that Muhammad is even from descent from Abraham. But this is all is to give to give Muhammad some uh, uh, legitimate claim. But Muslims do not believe in the God of Abraham. As simple as that. And we can prove it so easy. The God of Abraham is a spirit. The God of Abraham came to Abraham himself as a man. The God of Abraham came to Abraham as a man. The Muslim, they refuse to accept that God is a spirit and God came as a man. So uh, uh, the God of Abraham cannot be the God of the Muhammadan. All right. Uh, we have a funny guy here. He always come with the questions. Yeah. Okay. Let me show you the just to show you an example uh, how a human being sometimes is very silly, and even though he's an adult. So this guy, his name is Tom and Blondie, saying, "Isn't it all prayer useless? I mean, how come how come God never made an uh, amputate regrow uh, his leg?" Is that too hard for Yahweh? Uh, I mean, you see, if if God he do that, you will say, how come God did not do that one? So let us let us go in the list. So God he made the blind see. You did not mention it. God made the one who cannot walk walk. You did not mention it because it's there. So now we need to look what the God of the Christian did not do yet. <laughs> You see how silly you are. Yeah, this is just a and and if God he made a, a, a foot regrow, uh, you will say, oh, let me find something else. But let me answer you and get you busted. When the blind man, and he is a blind man, which means he don't have eyes to function. When Jesus he made him able to see, he did not do a surgery. So simply he regrow eyes for him. When the man who cannot walk. All his life and then Jesus he said to him carry your bed and walk that means that Jesus he gave him a new legs because those are useless legs they agree grow or not still they are useless so you are silly and you are stupid but I don't blame you I mean the Chinese spoke about people like you he left as a donkey never came back as a as a horse anyway so it doesn't matter really what Jesus does, even the enemies of Jesus, even uh, uh, like this guy Borat, or uh, even the Jews in their Talmud, they say that Jesus, he went to Egypt and learned how to do magic, magical healing. So even the enemies of Jesus admitted that Jesus, he did what nobody can do. But anyway, to believe or not, this is your business. You are blondie with Tom. What a competition. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, the power of a prayer, we as a Christian, we don't reject that. And for sure, we pray to God always. But the question is, do Muslims even pray? You see, if you are forced to go in a certain time, and it is an obligation, that is not a prayer. If I force my son to call me, my son did not call me. Just to make it simple for you. I will consider my son calling me if he call me because he miss me. Willingly. But when I force him to call me, he did not call me yet. So the Islamic prayer is not exist for a very simple reason. It is an obligation 
of necessity. You have to do not a choice between you and God. And you will notice that the teaching of Christ is totally the opposite. Christ, he, you know, he warned us about not to pray like those hypocrites who pray in the corners. And that's what Muslims do. They are fake people. They are not praying to God. You will find the guy in the middle of everywhere. He put a rag. He put it in the top of his taxi to pray. He want to show the whole town he is praying. He go in the middle of the park and he want to pray. Women wearing bikini next to him and he is supposedly not the religious person. You know? Obviously, this is a form of hypocrisy. Or they gather together and they want to play down. You know, they want to pray downtown. Uh, just it's a show, a show off time. Uh, so Muslims, when they pray, what they say? You know what exactly the Muhammadan they say? If you go in the Quran, chapter number one, Al Fatiha. You will see that this is what they repeat every day. Muhammad, he was trying to find something equal to the prayer of the Christians, which is our Father, art of heaven. Our Father, you know, for me, I don't speak it in, uh, pray it in Arabic, I mean, in, uh, in English. Uh, you know, you grow up in a language and... Anyway. So our Father, Art of Heaven, in uh, you know, in, in Aramaic, is the prayer. But for sure, you can pray it in any language you want, any language, your language. But when you pray to God, you do not need to pray the exact words. You can say anything you want in your heart. What Jesus, when he taught us about our 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 Father, is just to make it simple. What is what is exactly? What what do you want from God? And how what and what you will get from God. You ask God for forgiveness, that's wonderful. But there you say and you ask for forgiveness because you forgive. Because you forgive. So the prayer have a meaning, very deep spiritual meaning. About requesting forgiveness. In the same time, about me being a person of forgiveness. I'm not being selfish, praying for myself. I'm being a Christian, praying for the one who is supposedly the one I don't like. So if you go and read Our Father Out of Heaven, where we praise the name of the Lord, or uh, uh, who is art in heaven. Uh, we are waiting for his kingdom to come. In the same time, we are asking the Lord to provide us. He is our Father. That's why we call him Father. Provide us. Everything we have is a gift from him. And then forgive us for trespass as we forgive those who trespass against us. And that is the most important in the statement. Asking God to give you is normal. Asking God to forgive you is very normal. That is a, that is, that's me, like save me, you know, I want to save myself. But forgive me because I forgive. So what Jesus is teaching us when you want to go and pray to the to, to the Father, you have to be ready and practice some actions before you pray. It's not just words you say. You forgive, you don't hate, and then you ask the Father to forgive you, for you are a person who is following the steps of Jesus. You love and you forgive, even those who hate you, even those who trespass against you. And we need always the help of the Father to lead us out of temptation and misleading and all the evil power around us, for we cannot fight it by ourselves. 
So this is the purpose of our prayer. Jesus, he make it simple for you, but you don't. You can choose your own words. You can say whatever you want. If we go now to the Muslims' prayer, I don't see prayer in the prayer. What is this? I challenge any Muslim to tell me where is the prayer. <clears throat> the only thing Muhammad he took it from the Christian prayer, our Father art in heaven, is guide us to the straight way. That's it. The rest meanless. Where is the prayer? Any Muslim can tell me what is the prayer in the prayer? So Muhammad he is trying to copy the Christian prayer because he is trying to build a religion. He have zero religion. He don't have God. See, as an example, the hypocrite Muhammad, in the beginning of when he claimed to, uh, to, to be a prophet of Allah, he was praying around the Kaaba. He's a pagan. Then Muhammad, he moved and he lived between the Jews. Suddenly, Muhammad, he prayed toward Jerusalem. <laughs> Looked like his God location changed. So, I mean, the Kaaba is just a few miles away from you. Why you change direction and pray into Jerusalem? Then when the Jews refused him, they knew his false. Oh, the guy suddenly, he changed the direction again. And he is praying toward the Kaaba. And here you ask yourself, if Allah is God and Muhammad is his prophet, shouldn't Allah from the first day tell Muhammad where to pray to? How Allah, and uh, uh, let us make it simple to the Muslims. Where Allah, he said to Muhammad, pray toward Jerusalem. Any Muslim can show me? Why Muhammad was praying toward Jerusalem? Scholars of religion agree this is in the fact of a prayer. What is that? I understand. Why Muhammad, he was praying to Jerusalem? Anybody can tell me? What is there? Just a question. Any Muslim can tell us? They don't know. He's a madman. He's trying to convince the Jews that he is a Jew. This guy, he sat with the Hindu. He's a Hindu. He sat with the pagan. He's a pagan. He stood with the Christians. He's a Christian, like Obama. Or most of people who do politics in USA. Obama, he say, I'm a Muslim. Obama, he go to Israel. He wear the Jewish hat. And he pray in the front of the temple. Obama, he go to black African church and he's holding the Bible. Obama is an atheist making fun of the Bible when he is with atheists. Many person in one. Muhammad is the same. So who was a Muhammadan can tell us why Muhammad was praying to Jerusalem and what the prayer was? What he was praying? In fact, some Muslims, they agree that this is, this is not is even exist in the Quran. If you go to the Quran of Ibn Mas'ud, you will not find this chapter there. It's missing. It's not there. It's not part of the Quran. Uh, Hassan saying, don't spread misinformation about my religion. Why you don't go and call me and give me the correct information? You see, you see Muslims complain about us spreading false information. Get me busted. Call me and show me how I am. Did your prophet pray to Jerusalem or I'm lying? Did he or did not? And so he was praying in the beginning around the Kaaba, to the Kaaba. What happened? And then he switched to Jerusalem. What happened? And then he switched again to the Kaaba. What happened? Any Muhammadan can tell us beside 
you know, the complaint and the drama and put in tears. They can't answer. The only answer for that, Muhammad is a hypocrite man. He is a fake person. He have no God. He have no religion. He is just satanic. And he is trying to take a place in the market of religion, like many, you know, satanic leaders. If we, you know, if we read the Quran or the Hadith, I will not find where Allah, he said to Muhammad, pray to Jerusalem. Any Muslim can help me? Did Allah tell Muhammad, pray to Jerusalem? If not, so why he did? And if Abraham, as the Quran says, was in Mecca, why he is praying to Jerusalem? What is there for Muhammad? Any Muhammadan? You know, one... Uh, <laughs> one of the funny things about Muhammad, he came to, uh, to the city of Medina, which is... Uh, Yathrib, this is what this is what happened when you bring a refugee. So I hope European people they will learn about refugee. So they brought Muhammad as a refugee, and later he killed them all. Good for them. So uh, the stupid Jews in the city they accepted Muhammad because they thought, oh, this guy is going. He hate the Christians, you know. Like I mean, he's attacking Christianity. He's not attacking Judaism. So they say to themselves, that's an opportunity to weaken the Christians. So they opened their doors for him. And Muhammad, he, you know, uh, when he arrived to Yathrib, he found some Jews praying in a day and fasting in that day. So he said to them, "What? Uh, what why you? Why you are fasting today? What? What is the? What is this day?" They said, "This is the day where Moses he crossed the sea, and the nation of Israel were saved." Muhammad he never heard of this day before. They just told him about it. Suddenly, Muhammad, he went a fast that day. And not only that, he hijacked Moses. He said, you know what? We are more, we have more right in Moses more than you. So he ordered the Muslims to fast that day. He never heard of it before. His God never told him about it ever before. Never. And the story and the proof in front of you. He found the Jews observing fast on the day of Ashura. So they were asked about it by the Prophet. Do you see? By who? By the Prophet. And this is the man who is informed about God by God. Yet he do not know about the day when Moses, he crossed the sea. He never heard of it. Are we following? Is it possible that Muhammad is sent by God, the God of Abraham, the God of Moses, and yet he do not know what this day is? Do you understand my point? We are talking about a person, he's a prophet. And already now, he is a prophet for a long time, supposedly. But yet he entered now, he never heard 
from his God. About this story. How come? Any Muhammadan can tell us? We are not talking about something simple like, you know, Musa was shaving his beard. Muhammad did not know. We are not talking about Musa's he decided to eat a chicken, not a shrimp. And Muhammad do not know. We are talking about a nation crossing the sea and they are fasting because of a day very special. Muhammad never heard of it. And not only that, the guy he just heard of it. And then he claimed that if you fast this day is equal to 70 years. Of a praying to Allah. Is that possible? He just learned about it. And then Muhammad, he started putting his spice. Suddenly he's expert for you know with it. You know, this is remind me when I was in the service, I have a at the boss. You know, we go to practice shooting, and the boss, he is the big boss, you know, the big one. He's an old man. So I was shooting with the normal pistol, which is not automatic, but I was shooting automatic. So he looked at me, he said, how you do that? Isn't your gun the same as my gun? I said, yeah, sir. So I showed him how you can do it. And then he starts shooting automatic. Then another officer, he came, and he looked at him, he said, sir, how you can do that? That's amazing. And then the big boss, he said, son, <laughs> when I used to shoot, you were just a kid. And he looked at me and he blinked in his eyes, like, don't tell him, okay? This is Muhammad. He just learned how to shoot. And now he claimed that he is the expert. And now he start blinking with his eyes and telling the Muslims, that if you fast this day is better than 70 years. 70 years. And then Muhammad, let me see if I can find uh, the hadith, maybe in English. But English, maybe we cannot find it. Hold on. We will try. Yeah, maybe not. All right. Let us find the different hadith. Hold on. Oh, the same one. And this is how you know that the man here is a false man. Very false, extremely false. All right. This is the hadith here in front of me, and here is the reference. All right. Translate to English. Whoever fast on Ashura, it's a day. Allah will write for him the worship of 70 years. What is equal, just to make it simple for you, if you fast this day, who just Muhammad, he just learned about it a minute ago. Suddenly, Muhammad is start adding his own spice to it to encourage the Muslim to fast it. 70 years fasting one day is like praying for Allah for 70 years. But where he got this information from? He just learned about it. Do we have any Muslim? 
We just heard about it a second ago. And now I am promising you that Allah told me that if you fast this day, you will have equivalent of 70 years of a praying. Does it make sense that if you fast for a day, it's better than a 70 years? Actually, nothing makes sense in Islam. As long as we're talking about this, Muslims, they believe there is a night, it's called the night of power, which sounds like a porn. If you pray that night, which Muhammad do not know which night, by the way, he forgot supposedly, uh, it's better than 83 years of a praying. And this is in the Quran, chapter 97, verse number three. Now ask yourself, is this God serious? Because supposedly the one is talking here is Allah, right? So is it fair? Is it fair that somebody pray at that night, that night only, as if he prayed for 83 years and then the question here why i need to pray for the coming in my life i just prayed for 83 years it is not literal huh. here we go see this is what i called the duct tape of the muhammadan so the quran says it's better than 83 years the the abdul he says it's not literal so allah is making a false claim largest span of years what is that what Muhammad he say 83 years Abdul says to me largest span of year are, are we going to make them by kilos now how many kilos of years your prophet he gave the number Abdul he say a span of years supposedly he fixed it now you know it's fixed now it's not it's not 83 no it says it says a better than a thousand months of a prayer that is a 83 years and four months and here we ask ourselves about the power uh, the, the, the prayer that's why today our topic is about praying is that possible really what is the logic behind this so what is the the speed of the internet at that night is so fast to Allah is that the birthday of Allah? Why why this night? If you pray, Allah will write your deed as if you prayed for 80 3 years. Any Muhammadan? Mr. Ismail Ali, he's saying, Wallahi, you are misguided. And this is another example of how Muslims, they try to dodge your question. Wallahi, you are misguided. By the way, don't say that in the Middle East because they will think you are from those guys, you know? You know the thing. No, real man will say Wallahi. Ismail Ali, he just refuted me. I, actually, he destroyed all my claims. That's it. He said, Wallahi. And now he said, Wallahi, you are misguided. But isn't it the Quran says the one who misguided is Allah? Hmm? Wallahi? That's sharp, man. I mean, the guy, maybe he was searching Google for it. And he came with the answer, Wallahi, you are misguided, that's it. They refute everything you say. Just say, Wallahi, you are misguided. Okay? Hmm. I'm going to destroy your belief. Uh, one argument, are you coward, ready to accept my debate? My friend, are you saying to me, you are waiting all those years to destroy my belief and now you got hot what 
Why wow, your mom she put you in the freezer? Call me and tell me how you can destroy my belief. Go ahead. My Skype is open. <laughs> Invite you where? Call me in Skype. Wallahi. That's it. A Muslim is going to call me and you destroy my belief. I better leave before he come. And you know, you will notice that all of this, all this drama, because they are trying to change the topic. What is a prayer in Islam? <laughs> there is no prayer. What the heck is that? You pray, you fast a day is equal to 70 years. You pray a night is equal to 83 years and four months. So if I, you know, uh, uh, if I fast for uh, uh, two nights, like this year and the coming year, uh, okay, that is 83 plus 83, that is 166 and eight months. Just two nights. So somebody else, he missed this night, or he never prayed that night, He is just doomed. I did beat him with the number of my prayers. So when you pray, and what, when, when they pray, what they say? Nothing. They are not even praying. They are saying to Allah what Allah said. Look, in the name of Allah, the most merciful, beneficent, most merciful. What the heck? You pray to Allah. You say to him in the name of Allah, why he is a stranger? Are you from the squad? Police squad, you are coming to the door, you say in the name of the government? We have a warrant in your name? What is that? What does that mean? So you knock at the door of Allah. In the name of Allah. Who is Allah? Are you praying to Allah or you are praying to water a million? Why you are praying to Allah, saying in the name of Allah? Any Muhammadan? Okay, Ismail Ali, he is saying, you know, he is uh, Ismail Ali because he knew that Muslims are leaving Islam left and right. So he's trying to save the Muslims from, uh, you know, Ismail Ali, by the way, he, he wants you to go to heaven. So Allah will give you an endless private part. And I understand Ismail Ali, his private part is so small. It's his dream to have a, finally something big. So what is the point of all of this? Subhanallah, out Muslim brother at least are confident to show their face when accusing religion to be false, show your face. <laughs> My friend, why you don't ask the same question to Allah? As long as Allah is confident, is he confident? What about you ask your prophet to show his face? You never saw his face, you never saw his ass, maybe he never exists. Why well, you want to see my face? Are you like men? Why well, you want to see my face? And if we see my face, what, you, what, what exactly what it would do to you? What is benefit? You will get scared and you will make pee, pee in your pants. I look scary. Trust me, if I look good, I will I will open the camera and but if I open my camera, everybody will leave. In two minutes. And the only one will stay here is me. Because I don't see myself. And if I see myself, I will leave myself too. So who is a Muslim can really answer us? Where is the prayer? And what is a prayer? Instead of all this drama and show us yourself and uh, is scared, it's your prophet is scared. Your prophet, he asked his cousin to sleep in his bed so he can run away. Your prophet, he ran away to the king of Ethiopia and he bowed down in front of him like a chicken asking for refugee. Your prophet ran again to the Jews, not only to the, to the Jews asking them for refugee. Who is the one is scared? Not only that, your prophet was terrified to the point he wanted to kill himself. You know, 
And here we question the prayer of Muhammad again. Because if Muhammad is a person who prayed to God, and the Muslim, they say to us, when you pray to Allah, you feel peace. So how come Muhammad wanted to kill himself? I mean, the guy, not only he want to kill everybody, he want to kill himself. I don't see peace there. Do you think somebody want to kill himself, committing suicide, is enjoying peace with himself and his God? Read with me. It says here, but after a few days, the real Muhammad, uh, the father of Muhammad Waraka died and the divine inspiration was also paused. I never heard of divine inspiration paused. Oh, maybe Allah, he lose his Wi-Fi. It, it, you know, things happen. For a while, and the prophet becomes so sad. Why he was praying? Hey, Muslims, where is the prayer to Allah, which will make you have peace? And calm and stable and guidance. Isn't it your prophet says when you pray to Allah, there is two angels, one in the right shoulder and one in the left shoulder, which remind me of the circus. Hmm? The one who narrate did narrate the hadith, he is not trust. Ah, here we go. He does not trust. I think he does trust because he did not show his face. <laughs> Smart answer. Genius. This is Sahih Bukhari, you idiot. This is Sahih Bukhari, and he is not the trust. What's wrong with those Muslims? Any Muhammad, any Muhammadan? He's not trust, brother. But I agree with you. Muslim, they lie a lot. I mean, come on. Can you can you even trust a Muslim? Can you find one Muslim have a decency to be trusted? I agree with you, Mr. Hassan. You know, Hassan, you remind me when I was a kid, there was a cartoon. It's called Hassan. Hassan. Unbelievable. Funny. Actually, I think this is like was a uh, uh, an English uh, cartoon and they translated it to Arabic. Don't repeat your post many times about Zakir Naik, otherwise I will block you, my friend. Can any Muslim give us an answer? What the prayer in Islam does? Here we go. Your prophet himself is depressed. Your prayer, your prophet himself you know, he he, is, he need healing. Actually, you know, uh, uh, Muhammad, when he was at the end of his life, he can't even pray. Can you believe it? The Muslims. I saw a video of Zakir Naik. He says, Did a sitter. He is saying that there are many people do healing. In Qatar here, we have people do healing. What the heck? There's people do healing. Your prophet himself was dying and he died. He could not even move his bum to pray to Allah. Muhammad, when he moved from house to house, he need assistant. Muhammad, not only that, he do not know where is he, where he will be tomorrow. Let me let me show you some reference. Hold on. And remember, Muhammad praying to Allah. I mean, Muslim they say. I mean, who is more close to Allah than Muhammad? Nobody. When Allah Apostle was in his fatal illness, I like this fatal thing, you know. I ate fatal day and the other day, fatal food. Unbelievable. Man. It's called, I'm not going to share the name with you, it's secret. It's called kimchi, you know. Like you eat kimchi, I felt like I want to go to the moon, you know. You know. 
like spicy food like you know a, so Muhammad I don't know what happened to him and obviously all the end of his life is 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 uh, is suffering from fatal illness he start visiting his wife saying where will be tomorrow he was anxious to be in an Asia home Asia said so when it's my day the prophet becomes silent no longer ask questions look 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 how cute he spent the whole day quiet so the whole day Muhammad say nothing where will be tomorrow when he come to Aisha house he's so quiet look how cute so where is the prayer of your God while Muhammad not unable even to walk Jesus he was giving orders to those who cannot walk and they carry their bed and walk with it they walk he cannot even walk alone look all those stories in the front of you Actually, there's a hadith. Aisha, she is saying that when he died, his saliva was all over him. I'm not sure why. Which is very sexy. And by the way, if you are a person you do not know how to find this hadith, even though I'm going... I mean, when I scroll my screen, you see the number, but you can type exact words in your Google PSP upon him and you can find the exact hadith. Just to teach you how to do it, you know, just type one line, like they say a few words exactly as you see it in the screen and you will find the hadith through Google. Let me see the hadith about the saliva. Maybe this one, hold on. Look at this. I never heard of a translation such a... What the heck? The prophet expired? He, he What? He was expired? Why? He was a sardine? Muslims, this is how you translate your prophet death? He was expired? Hello? The expired prophet? That's deep. I never expected the prophet to expire. I thought he is unlimited. Expired. And you know, if I am the one is making the translation, the Muslim, they will say, liar, liar. It doesn't say that, see me expired one day Tuesday the day before it was Monday the prophet getting expired He's not expired yet, but the clock is clicking. And then the prophet he opened his mouth. If you have a problem with your mouth, please don't forget to brush it, and we have the best copy paste hadith for you you paste the hadith over your teeth and your teeth will be shiny duct tape islam is the only based on the word copy paste which can solve your problems you will not smell and you will never have teeth again and nobody can complain about you having teeth which is dirty because you lost your teeth going back end of the commercial break
So the Prophet expired on the day which does the turn of Aisha. Imagine how painful it is. It's your turn. And he expired. This is the Prophet of Allah. getting expired. He lay down. Commercial break. If you like to lay down and you have no place, we have for you a room 4x4 four four with Andrew Tate. Have cockroaches and bugs for free. Please don't hesitate. Register in the Hustle University so you can get your room because you will follow his steps. End of commercial break. While his head, while his head was against my chest, big chest, small chest, whatever chest, and his saliva mixed with my saliva with my saliva very much mixed what a wonderful mix if you are looking for a mixer and you would like to mix your saliva with someone else's saliva don't do French kiss we have different way First, you need to expire. Secondly, you put your head in the chest of your wife, and then your saliva will be mixed with her saliva automatically. Please don't forget to pay for the advice. What the heck is that? Muslims, how his saliva mixed with her saliva? They were, what, what, what was happening? And the prophet expired. And, you know, I like to die in such a way, by the way. Guys, do you like my commercial break? I know, I know. I just made them up. They are not real. Yeah, don't tell me like this is. I would try to buy the the copy paste saliva. I mean, the for the teeth. You did not find it online. I was joking. Now the Muslim, they will go in the in the comment and they will say Christian Prince is saying there's a copy paste. Uh, you know, paste uh, will take your teeth and he is selling it and making money from it. You never know. Even when I make the voice of Zachary Naik, they they say to me Christian Prince, there's no way this is Zachary Naik. Like what the heck? I'm joking, man. Liar, Zakir Naik, Zakir Naik did not call you. Just wait in the comment and you will see it. <sighs> Do we have any Muhammadan? Would like to say anything? So this is the Prophet of Allah. Why he's dying in such a way? You will ever attend a debate? Attend. Uh, here we go. I'm here. Debate me. Attend the debate. <laughs> My friend, uh, uh, I don't know. Would you ever attend the burning the Quran? I burn it here every day. I don't know what you can do about it. I burn it by words, not burn the book. We need the book. I will never burn a book. We like the book. As you say, you cannot refute, you cannot answer. Look, even your prophet is burnt, expired. I mean, how in the world, you Muslims, you say the prophet expired? Hmm? Was it like was he a kind of beef? Was he a sardine? Was he a kind of hummus? And now you are saying he is expired? Any answer besides complaining, calling names? Eh. 
or saying, would you attend a debate? Here we go. I called Mimi Hijab. He hung up on me seven times. He did not even let me ask a question. Did you say that? <laughs> Who dare? All of you are potatoes. Anyone have a career will never dare to debate me. Any Mohammedan? The translator also mental? No, no, no. The translator is giving the exact meaning. The prophet expired. Come on. You see, Allah, I will give you a story to explain to you what expired. You guys, you have no idea. You know, <clears throat> as long as I ate kimchi, Allah guide me and give me all the wisdom, the kimchi wisdom. So listen, listen carefully. Just to explain to you, because you guys, you have no idea. I mean, you, you have no idea. I'm going to switch from kimchi to balu tomorrow. Uh, according to Muslims, one day Musa was going to expire. Two, not only Muhammad. <laughs> So Allah, He sent him. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> so Allah, He sent him uh, an angel to take his life. And then, you know, Musa's, you know, he watched karate. And I mean, this guy, he was close a friend uh, to, uh, uh, you know, this guy, you know, the, I don't know. I mean, he's, he, he, uh, I, he, you know, he speak uh, like, I don't know what the language, like he say, orang, orang. I think his name is Bruce Lee. Anyway, so you know, they were friends, you know, and uh, Musa's, uh, uh, when Allah, he sent, the angel of death to Moses, and he want to take his life. Moses, he don't want to die. Simply, he's going to expire. You know, I mean, it's as simple as that. So he was going uh, uh, to expire, and uh, you know, uh, uh, and then he said, you know what? You cannot make me expire. And he did hit him. He gave him a blow in his eyes, you know, which is really, this is the weakness spot, by the way, for angels. I did beat many angels before. Uh, I mean, like, look, look male, me, because angels of Allah, they are not male. So they didn't have balls. So if Moses, he tried to hit the balls, he hit nothing, really. I mean, the guy don't even have balls. So he, you know, he knew, I mean, what he have, either I break his wings or I, you know, take one of his eyes. So he says, Abu Huraira from the Messenger of Allah, he says, the angel of death came to Musa and said, respond to Allah call, which means prepare to be expired. Uh, Musa's beats or buoy upon him, give a blow at the eye of the angel. <laughs> And here you notice that Musa was a member of the, what is called, IDF army, you know, the Israeli army. I mean, the angel, he did beat the angel, give him a blow. As simple as that. Huh? I mean, is it really that simple? The angel he went the, the angel of death. This is the guy whose specialty is death. And now the angel is coming to come to your life, and what do you do? Bish, bish, bish. <laughs> On his eyes. And then was what happened next? The eye of the angel knocked out. Which, by the way, very true story. I mean, he, he's a Jew. A Jew. All Jews, they are very good in martial art. 
and um, and you should see the angel. The angel was making pee pee in his pant, and then the angel look what happened next. Like he did not even fight back, coward, you know. So the angel went back to Allah and they exalted. He said to him, <laughs> "You send me to your servant who don't want to die, and he look out my eye. What the heck is that, man?" Hmm? What happened to the guy who said he wanna call me two, 10 hours ago? Mm -hmm. Can you believe it that the Muslim they say nobody can stop Allah, nobody more powerful than Allah. Allah if he wants something, he say B is going to be. So Allah, he decided to take the soul of Moses this day. Moses, he don't like to go. Can you believe it? Moses, he can be the angel of death. I thought Allah, if he decides something, nobody can change it. Any Abdul? You know, once I I have a fight and I, I play karate very well, by the way. So like I did beat the guys with me, and it's true that my nose became so big and my lips became blue, and uh, like my t-shirt became pieces, you know. But I beat them all, but honestly, you know, because I play karate, you know, karate actually. I play karate, not karate. Like chi ho 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 ha. And then later I found that those the ones I was fighting with. They are not even human. They are angels. You tell me how I found that they are angels. Because all of them, their eyes came out from the same from the first box. Boom, boing, 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 boing. His eyes come out. Look like this is the weak spot. It's like a Mazda car. You hit the car and accident from the, from the back. The, the light of the cars come out from the front. Like you hit it in the ass to the car, and the Mazda car, the, the the light will come like boing, boing, boing. I mean, I hit the ass of the car, and yet the eyes in the front, they came out, man. And then the Muslim, he will say to you, Trinity does not make sense. <laughs> I mean, for sure, this is a religion of sense. Hmm. A Muslim, he's asking you, how in the world you can believe in the Trinity? It does not make sense. Mm. Accept a call? Oh, okay, Mr. Amir, hold on, give me a second. No, you cannot call me, my friend. I have to call you. Hold on, give me a second. <laughs> okay, we have Mr. Amir calling us. Hello? Hello? Yes, I hear you, Mr. Amir. How are you, my friend? I have one question. You have one question? Uh, that's it, right away, question. I thought you are going to answer all the things I say. No, uh, just listen to me. I cannot listen, my friend. I'm deaf like Allah. <laughs> well, Allah, Allah can, your can, God can, Allah, you... can Allah hear you? Listen, I'm not into Muslim or Christian. So or what are you? Aren't you Muslim? No, I'm just here. Okay, to if you are a Muslim, faith. tell me what do you think about Muhammad? I, I feel like you are a liar. Your name is Amir. Your name is Amir and you are not Muslim. Wait. Uh, hmm. no, 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 no. Why you are lying saying you are not a Muslim? <laughs> Why are you so afraid, bro? You no, know, I'm, I'm, I'm not afraid. You are the one is uh, hiding your identity, <laughs> not to say even you are you are ashamed to say you're a Muslim. Why why is that? Why, what what is the no. problem? Okay, <laughs> if you are not a Muslim, tell me what do you think about Muhammad? Is he a false prophet? Okay. I have just one question. No, no, no. One Why question. you are lying about your religion? Why you are saying you are a Muslim? Are you ashamed? <laughs> can I ask my question? You can or? have a problem. We're having a conversation. Do we have time? So why you are afraid to say you are a Muslim? What's the problem? <laughs> Who says what? I'm Muslim? I'm, I, 
You are what? I'm not bringing up my religion. I'm just no, no, no. You see, when you person. call me, when you call me, I say only Muslims can call me. So if you are not a Muslim, then you are not welcome. Are you a Muslim to talk to me or not? Why? Well, I'm just here to ask one question. No, is your if, God uh, all you can you can ask me a question if you are a Muslim. No problem. Are you a Muslim yeah. or not? Is is your God are all you, knowing? Are you a Muslim or not, brother? Is your God Don't all knowing? Don't call me brother. You are not my brother, my friend. You are a person who worship the devil. We cannot be brother. So I'm asking you, are you a Muslim oh. or not? Okay, I am a Muslim. Okay, so why are you lying? In the beginning, no. say I am not a Muslim. Let's let's answer and just no. Why you this, why you lie? So you How can I can talk to you? How I can talk to somebody? He in the beginning he even lie about his religion. So from the beginning, from the start, Brother. you lied. So how <laughs> you can be decent even to talk to you? You are so avoiding my question. No, I'm not. You know, amazing. I heard you. You are amazing. saying you are saying to me, "Is your God is all knowing?" Okay, let, let, so us, let us talk about this topic. To okay, you hold on. So, guys, is your God is all knowing? Tell me, is my God all knowing or not? Is your God all knowing or not? Uh, for sure, He is all knowing. Is your God is all knowing? So, so no, it's my time to say so. So, if Allah is how? all knowing, how come oh, the no. sun set in a muddy water? Oh, no, listen to me. How listen come the me. sun set in muddy water according to Allah, who is all knowing? Listen to me. If God is all knowing, which God? Which he, God? Why? Which did God? He create which God? People to send them to hell. Which God? Can you explain this to me? Which God? Can you explain the which God? It doesn't matter which, which God? God? No, it doesn't are, matter. You said to me you are a Muslim. Allah you are Jesus saying to me, you said to me you are a Muslim. Jehovah or anything. You are you Why said to me did God create you? Okay, hold on. Don't waste my time. God? You don't want to tell me which God? God did not create anyone to send him to hell. Not my God. People they decide to go to hell. They are being stupid. God, they may, you know, he did not he did not send anyone to hell. It's you. You refuse to go to heaven by taking different direction. Let us take another Abdul. Liar. <clears throat> Hello? Hey, smart friend. How are you? I'm good. Okay. So what do you think about our topic today? I actually don't even know what the topic for today is. The topic is about the Muslim prayer. What is the point of a Muslim prayer? The point of Muslim prayer technically is, um, let's see, there's a bunch of uh, reasons. Like? But the main reason and the official reason is basically that's what you were created for. Oh. To pray to God. And okay. that's it. That's basically what we were all created okay. to do. Okay, we are getting closer. We are getting closer. So according to the Quran, it says, Allah, he did not create a human and genie except to worship, worship him, yeah. correct? Correct. Okay, but the prior the Muslim, they do, they are not worshiping. What do you mean? How are they not okay. worshiping? What, what, what is the prior? Exactly what is the prior? Them. My friend, what is the prior you pray every day? Five times a day. Five times a day, correct. Yeah. Okay, what is? what are you What? what are you saying? What? Exactly what you just said, praying five times a day. What 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 do you say in the five times a day? What do you do? You well there, you want me to teach you? Is that what you want me no, to no, do right my now? My friend, you want me to I, I'm you not the... asking you to teach me. I don't think even you know your religion, but we will see. I'm asking you what do you say? I mean, I'm... What do you say when you pray to Allah? Because you claim that you pray five times a day. What do you say? What do you want? The first step or what do you want in general? There is no step. There is no, I mean, the steps were steps. We are talking about what you say. Even the steps, there's a, a say, say what you say. Prayer supposedly is what you say. The act you do is a fabrication of Muhammad. Nowhere is mentioned. I mean, where he, where he got this from? But anyway, when you pray, what do you say? You, I got this from what you just said. We do not create man and, and jinn, but to worship. What okay, you but about? how you worship Answer Allah? How you worship Allah by doing what? By praying exactly how you are not praying, pray. you are not praying, you, you are reciting, you are reciting Al Fatiha, which Allah He said, not you. You're reciting Al Fatiha because that's what Allah said. We are literally doing what Allah said. No, no. This is not something okay. we so feel if, like doing. So now, if Allah He says something, you repeat yes. what He say, and that is a prayer? No, if Allah says, This is what I want you to say, where He said, where He that. said, where He said, I want you to say, go ahead. Say what? Al-Fatiha, where he said, 
No, so, no, 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 no. Allah told us to pray, and the Prophet showed us how to pray. Let's get, okay. let's not get it confused. Okay, so you are saying now this is not from Allah. It was Muhammad who is adding things to Islam, saying you should say this. So, then what is the, what is the whole prophethood for? Like, okay. why are we following but the message? The prophethood, according, according to, to you, uh, correctly. According to you, Muslims, prophet, they receive from their God and they deliver what God said, correct? Yes, okay. correctly. So and you Muslims claim undermine Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and say, oh, we don't feel like doing that. Okay. No. Hold on. Allah said pray and Muhammad said, Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, this is how you're supposed to do it. All right. So you go to the hadith, but, but there's look, a bunch of hadiths telling you how you're supposed to do it. Look what happened. Allah doesn't, is not giving us exactly how to pray. He says we're supposed to pray. Okay. Nabi Muhammad teaches us how okay. to pray. Okay, you said to me, you said to me, Allah did not say to us how to pray. So Muhammad is the one who came with the prayer, not, not Allah. So would it be reasonable to write every step of the prayer in the Quran? Or would it be reasonable to write the what you need to get, like the words you need to go through, the words of God? Is it reasonable for you to say, hey, this is how, he just tells you to pray. First hmm. of all, let's get one thing straight. I am not a scholar. Okay. So I don't want to ruin the true facts for all the Christians out there. Hmm. Let's get that one thing straight. Hmm. If everything I'm saying is good, it's from God. Everything I'm saying is bad, hmm. it's from the devil. Hmm. So I'm going to take my words lightly here so I, I'm, so I don't get it confused. Hmm. So let's get one thing straight. God told us to pray. That's it. I don't know what comes after that. Okay, where Allah he said uh, to pray? Sure where where are, Allah he said to pray? As I know, it is the Quran says you it's not just you literally answered it for me, Christian Prince. My friend, uh, what I know the Quran says that Allah Himself He pray on you. Is that correct? Pray, Allah prays on me. Yes. Where does it say that? You have your Quran with you? Yes. I'll chapter thirty three, chapter thirty three, verse number forty three. How do I put speaker on this thing? <clears throat> off. Okay, let's do that. Okay, we're good. Where do you want me to go in the Quran? Chapter 33, verse number 43. And I heard you speak in Arabic, so you have no excuse to say I do not know Arabic. It says, uh, Who will let you sali alaykum wa malaikatahu? Who will let you sali? Arabic, but we will go by English translation. No, we go by Arabic Even first. That is you, speak, bad. you speak Arabic, you translate. I do not know Arabic. I might oh, you do not know. Arabic so you were saying. I pray. Oh, okay, okay. You pray to Allah in Arabic, but you know Arabic. Wonderful. Okay, okay. Because you're supposed to pray in Arabic because that's the word. Ah, the word see, this is what I'm saying, talking about. You, you pray, you're supposed to pray in a language you don't understand. That make it even more funny, but we will go back there. So, who will let you no, salli Christ, alaykum? Christ, what the word? Christ, what the word you salli mean? I'm not even there yet. What did you say? Chapter thirty-three. What the word? What the word salah mean? Chapter thirty-three, verse number forty-three, my friend. Give me a second. Uh -huh. Chapter thirty-three, uh -huh. verse number forty-three. Okay, give me a second. Give me a second. I might have to ask you for that verse again. First, relax, my friend. Relax. Chapter thirty-three, verse number forty-three. Now I'm just excited to talk to you, Christian Prince. That's all. I'm excited to talk to me too. <laughs> okay. Okay. The verse again. Oh boy, chapter thirty-three, verse number forty-three. Okay. Hmm. Why? What's what's going on? Why do you you don't have patience? Huh? What's going on? Why are you annoyed by me finding this thing? Well, you asked me like 20 times in, in two minutes. I mean, what verse, what verse? Uh, uh, yeah, man. You, I'm trying to find it and you're, you know, starting something else and I'm right, forgetting right, okay. I'm trying to find it. Yeah, okay. Okay, 43 okay. you said or 44? 33, 4, 33 is the chapter. Yeah. Verse number 43. Okay, what do you have on your end? Because I can read you what I have on my end. Yeah. Well, here in the translation, the Muslim, they lie and they say, it is he who sent the blessing. But the Arabic says, huwa ladhi yusalli alaykum. Yusalli means he pray. What a blessing. Oh. And his angels. Wa malaikatahu. 
So in order to take you out from the darkness to the light. So Allah, he need to pray and the angels pray on you. So you might go out from darkness into the light. But I thought you are saying to me, we are supposed, we are supposed to be the one who pray to Allah. Not Allah is the one who pray on us. And Allah pray to who? You see, the Muslim, they come and they say, Jesus, he pray. Oh, Jesus, he pray to the Father. We believe in the Father, the Son. Allah, he pray to who? Do we have a father? No. Do we have a son? No. If there's other Allah? Muslim, they say no. So Allah, who will let thee, you salli alaykum. And not only that, it says, it says, he is, he is. And then the Muslim, they try to fabricate the meaning. They say, it is he who sent the blessing. It's absolutely false. Anyone knows that the word salah means prayer. I'm not sure we're reading the right verse. Chapter 33. Read the whole verse? Chapter 33, verse number yes. 43. Yes. 33. Can you read the whole verse, please? Huh? Can you read the whole verse? Wahawa ladhi yusalli alaykum wa malatika tahu. No, it's in English. What, what is the translation? English is a false translation. Huh? English is a false translation. I just told you. This is false. They are translating the word salah as a blessing. Okay, what do you do? You know Arabic. That's what I'm trying to find out. Oh uh, no, I you, look, you sound like you know Arabic. Sound like it, yeah. But I don't know. I, I use this, you know, Muslim interpretation. You know, like it make the sound. No, I don't. Know. Okay, so I don't need to. So I okay, that's good. So I don't even need to explain to you that one word can go into twenty different things. Uh -huh. If you take one. Let's say blessing in Arabic. Uh -huh. Was there a word for blessing back then? Yeah. No, there wasn't. There was 20 of them. There was 20 different words for blessing. Oh, okay. So why so, so why Allah did not choose? Confused. Why Allah did not choose? Uh, uh, suddenly he became expert in Arabic, guys. A second ago he didn't know Arabic. Now he's expert. So there's 20. No, 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 no. This is from the knowledge I have. Ah, okay, okay. So, this, okay, okay. This is from but the none of I those have. words, none of those words is salah. Salah means pray. So if someone comes up to me back in the day and say salah, salam alaikum, not it salam, can mean a not lot salam, of things. Not salam. It just depends on how you put it. My friend, not salam, salah, salah. I don't need to explain it to you. I mean, it's. I mean, I can see how the Christians of your audience can be confused with it because uh. they don't know the Arabic language. Uh. But I know the Arabic language enough to be like, hey, that can go into a lot of different words. Okay, as long as you know the Arabic language, why you said to me no, you do no, not no. know Let's Arabic? No, 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 let's not get it confused. I'm saying but, I don't but, know the Arabic language, but I'm still studying. Ah, uh, okay. You're trying to make me uh -huh. a scholar, but I, I know enough of my religion to be content with it. That's what I'm saying. That's powerful, my friend. It took you two hours to find the verse, and now you are you have too much contact with your religion. I mean, you don't even know. I'm, I'm you, just gonna you, say that's you, you, you never even heard of this verse before. You never Quran. heard of this verse before, obviously. And you do not know even how to find the verse in the Quran, obviously. And you do not know how to read it in Arabic, obviously. And now you are teaching me about what the meaning in Arabic 20 words, obviously. So let me read for you. Yes, I'm an Arab, my friend, and you are fooling yourself. So Allah, he's saying, it is he who pray on you. Pray, not send the blessing. Everybody knows that the word salah means he pray. So how it is you who pray to Allah when Allah is praying on you? And what is the purpose of Allah praying on you? What does that mean? I take, okay, I have no idea because you're just going off by what you know right now. What do you mean go off? I'm showing you the verse in front of you. I've you explained can, the first you can you can copy you can copy this word I'm showing it to you on the screen copy it and paste it in Google translation just do it the third one even if you don't speak Arabic the first one is huwa. what, what, the what is the third one you the, can just say it Allah, you salli. you salli. copy it and paste in Google translation and let's see what you salli mean in in, uh, in Google translation you will see it's mean he pray I guess I guess Google Translation is what we're going off by today, but it is what it is. Yeah. We'll give him what he wants. That's good. Copy it and paste it in Google Translation, and tell me what do you see? Hmm. 
you see even in the in the type here they type it wrong it says you suddenly they, they they you know when you post it in Google translation it doesn't even give the correct word it should be you suddenly at the end I'm of the year. nothing from Google because it's not I mean I don't even I don't even think their Arabic dialect is updated that much oh. you suddenly mean he prays to be honest with you I'm just gonna keep it straightforward um for all the Christians out there, you sully or you salu, however you want to say it. Hmm. If you really like were even trying to learn Arabic, that could be split up into 20. Just there. That's deep. That's that that's coming from a guy who basically doesn't know even one percent of Arabic. Oh. And if you even study the Arabic language, hmm. one word can mean 50, one word can mean two what, words, one what, word. What Allah mean? mean? Words. What Allah mean? It's, what Allah mean? Allah. Hmm. Allah. Hmm. Al means the Allah. God. Uh, God. Okay. So Allah used to be God, God, but Allah okay. specifically chose the name for himself. He has 99 names, but the most beautiful one is Allah. That's the one he chose for himself. Okay. You just you just told me you look like you're watching my videos, don't you? No. Yeah. I, come I on. pop in walk from time to time. Yeah, yeah, so, okay. I can't tell. Well, I saw you. Here. I saw you in the chat many times, my friend. What are you talking about? Anyway, so you you, you say obviously it. I'm gonna comment if I'm watching. Yes. Yeah. So because of the false things you're saying. Uh huh. Okay. So uh, uh, you just said "al" mean that, correct? I believe so. If I'm not, I'll, oh. let me go back. Like I said, no, I no, wait, 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 wait. Arabic. I'm going to go with you. I agree with you actually in Arabic. Al, I'll go with me if I just said I'm not sure. No, no, no. "Al" in Arabic. Today mean that you're, you're the more expert one. What does Al mean? Is that mean the? the yeah, in Arabic today. Okay, then let's yeah. go with that. Yeah, okay. Al means the. But, but that means your God name is La because Al La. No, because people used to. What was the word people used? To, Ella Elohim. That's what they used no, to no, call. No, no, no. Okay, no problem. Here we go. Here, here we go. You got your God. God. You got. You got. Even you got your God more busted. So the name of your God. I don't want to. Yes, because like I said, I be saying false things that are not a fact. Ah, uh, so and now each time anything like you, you say, any, anything you wanna, anything you say to me, show, I don't want to show the falseness that you can just rewrite things. No, things were written my, to a T my, and they're my, perfect to this day. I okay, can't just come. Okay, in so so now you so, so now you are saying to me, anything you say cannot be used against you because you lie. Anything a lot. anything that I say that is a fact from Islam can be used. Anything that I say that's stupid cannot be used. So who is who is the one who who made you stupid? Allah or Islam make use of it? The devil. The devil. Hmm. Yes. Okay, the devil I, long, okay I, will go, I will go with you. Who is the one who made people stupid and misguide them? Allah or the devil? The devil. All right, that's wonderful. So how come the Quran says it is Allah who misguide people? Allah chooses to misguide people because he, he does whatever he wants. It's his realm. Huh? But a second ago, you said the one who misguide them is the devil. Now you change your mind. It is Allah. He chose to misguide people. But if you read the Quran, it also says wh whoever turns to me, Allah, the devil doesn't win in that case. It's not the devil's choice. It's Allah's realm. Okay. So if so, you turn to so, him, so the devil, it's over. Okay, hold on. Yeah. So the devil, he is working for Allah, correct? No, he's not working for Allah. Oh, are you sure? No, the devil is just like you and me. He's a free will. He can do whatever he wants. Hmm. Okay. You tried to get me, didn't you? No. Okay. I did not get you yet. Uh, no, not... yeah, yet. Okay, let's see. Uh, you, 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 is your Quran ready? No, no, no. How about my questions? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. No, you need right to finish there. the topic because no, you, no, say it, no, you, say it, you say it. You say it. You say it. I want to get at least You say it. You say it. Huh? You said Shaitan is not a Muslim and he is not working for Allah, correct? Do I really need to repeat myself, CP? You, how come I, you, you asked me 1,000 times to repeat the verse number? Because you kept interrupting me. I'm ah, okay. Right I wasn't talking. It was you looking for the, the verse. You cannot find it. I chapter 7. You, I chap can tell you I forget Chapter things Chapter 7. Chapter 7. How are you going to... Okay, we're just Chapter 7. Chapter... To finish. 7 verse 16 okay do i get a question in after this yeah we are talking you can ask me a million question who cares 
I mean, I want to get a question in right now before this question. No problem. But here we go. Let's find first who is the devil, Allah or the devil is Allah. I don't know. So who is the what, one? What, what, what kind of stupid question is that? Who is because, Allah? Because you said Allah to me, you said, I ask you, Allah, I Allah, ask, Allah, yeah, Allah, uh, we, we will find out that Allah is the biggest devil. Why do we need to find out? I'm telling you right now the answer. No, it's in front of you. Read it. The one, so the, it's your the shaitan, the shaitan is a victim of Allah. Allah, he misled shaitan. Shaitan is a poor guy. Christian Prince, this would all make sense if you were actually Muslim and you were trying to refute it and like be like, "Hey guys, my friend, you know, I found this my friend, there's no need like this, to, you know, no need to make a drama. Like, I'm showing you, I'm showing you the verses. Claims, I'm like, showing bro, you the verses. I'm not making a claim. It's in the front of you. You're, bro, you're making a claim. No, I want to get my question in. No, I'm not making a claim. I have the verse in the front of you. The Quran says that Shaitan was misled by Allah, deceived. All right, where's this verse? Tell me. I'm not even there yet. Chapter I'm seven. To get my How you will go there? You are, you know. Okay, seven. Chapter seven, verse number sixteen. Okay, let's see. Hmm. And if I do not know the answer to this, we're skipping because I do not want to say false things. Okay. Chapter seven. What verse? How, uh, did, did you finish your high school? Yes. How you do it? How you do it? You skip questions. What do you mean? I mean, you, you skip everything I say. Whatever I say, if I don't know it, I skip it. If I say something stupid, it's a stupid from me. I, I, you know, what, what kind of a conversation this conversation is? So it's in the front of you. How can you skip it? It says, Shaitan, he says, Allah, he misled me. He is the one who misguided me. So Shaitan is a victim of Allah. Okay, without, without you interrupting me, can I please just say something? You want to skip it? No, I don't want to skip it, but you keep interrupting me. I'm not interrupting you. I'm waiting for okay, the answer. Just, let me let me just say something without you actually. Let me at you least just, finish you the just thing say it something. Like, hey, you done. just say it. Didn't you just say something? Okay, you did. Now continue with the answer. How Allah he misled Shaitan. Who is the one? I thought Allah is the one who misguided uh, who is he guide everybody. And now we find that even Shaitan, the poor guy, he was the victim of Allah. I'm still, I'm still trying to get my point through. I'm not even at the verse you're at. I'm still. Not Why is taking you so long to get to that verse? Are you climbing a ladder? No, I'm literally trying to say something, and you keep interrupting me. Well, uh, no, I want you to give me the answer. You know, I don't waste my time, my friend. I have long lines of Muslims when I leave Islam. You're not the only one. Brother, I just answered four questions. You I'm answer nothing. You keep skipping. Not you keep skipping. I literally answered you who Allah was. No, you did not. You did not. You said to me. You said to me. You said to me. Hold on. You said to me. What do you want from me? No, you said to me. I'm just. I'm going with you. You see, you are skipping my question. I just want to get a question in. That's no, it. No, hold on. So you said to me that Al mean the. That means yes. that the name of your God is La. Again, we're gonna go. Okay, let me not interrupt you, so you can finish, so you don't have this on me. Go ahead. Okay, Al La. This is the name of your God. So La is your God and La is the moon God. Al in Arabic today means the. In the old Aramaic mean God. So God La. Your God is Mr. La. And you are the one who said, not me. Al mean the. Al La. The la, I'm going with you. So Can la la is your God. God. Your God is la. If you go right now to Prophet Google, peace be upon him, you will find that la is the moon God. I just like the answer. What? So if we're going by Allah, Allah, the God, it's by only the in English translation. That we have to say the God. Allah means Allah wherever you go. It means God. When you gave me the answer in Arabic, saying that Al in Arabic, you said Al in Arabic. What English? Who cares about the English? Your God name is an English name now. So you said to me in Arabic, A L mean the. So what is the name of your God? The La. And you are the one who mentioned La. The La. You said that it's recorded. So your God name. Is la. If we go right now and we type in Google, peace be upon him, la, you will see it's the moon god. Very simple. What do you get when you type in Google Arabic Allah? Uh, you, 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 you will get Allah. 
But if no, we go, if we go, but as you see, you just agree that the real name of your God is not Allah. So, <laughs> where where in this whole conversation have you heard me say my God is not Allah? You said his name is Al La. Al means the. You said that, not me. The La. So Allah is the Moon God, and His real name is La. Moon. Egyptian God. You're technically not making sense at all. Uh, no, I'm not making. I'm not. No, it's you, you who know say. You're not making it's sense. you That's who said that. You, my friend, it's you, who say, it's you who say. It's you who say. Allah. I ask you what. I ask you what Allah mean. I said what Allah mean. You said, and this is your answer, not my answer. Al mean the la is the name of your God. Wonderful. What does Allah mean in Arabic? It's not an Arabic word. <laughs> Allah is not an Arabic word? Yes, it's not. Are, are you sure about that? Aren't you how, the one like, who how said how to me, look, look, look how funny you are. Aren't you, aren't you the one who says to me, Il and Al mean God a second ago, you forgot? Allah is not an Arabic word? No, it's not. So how certain are you? I just want to be like I'm very, I give you the I'm, evidence. And extreme, I just want I'm extremely, like, hey, I'm extremely, oh, okay, I'm, uh, I'm extremely, extremely sure. Okay. Hmm. So now what? What happened? I'm just, I'm just giving you the evidence. I'm trying to give the evidence. Ah. Hmm. So what we will do now? Getting evidence, brother. Oh, you're getting evidence. You cannot even find the verse in the Quran. Even give you a number, even give you the verse, and you cannot find it. Brother is telling me Allah is not an Arabic word. And if I told that to a random guy in Ohio, a white fellow, he would definitely think of Muhammad. Hmm. And you're telling me Allah is not deprived. Are you Arabic. talking to somebody or talking to me? No, I'm just talking to myself. That's all. Yeah, that's good. Your prophet, he's talked to himself a lot. That's fine. Yeah, I can show you. I mean, these guys are crazy. I'm just trying to figure out why you're not letting me get a question in. Well, I mean, we are talking, you know, we are having a conversation. Are we done? Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to get a question in, and you're saying we're having a conversation. Okay, well, you don't even know who's your God, and you are asking me a question. What about you ask yourself who's your God? So now... I mean, I want to ask you who you your are God a, is. You are a growing man. You are a growing man. You do not I, know. That's what I came you, here to do. You are a growing man. You do not know who is your God. You do not know the religion, and you are going to ask me a question about my belief. What about, you know, what about learning about your belief? You know nothing. Can I've given you four answers so far, and that's you gave me counting, zero answer. Look at you, from... you gave me zero answer, my friend. What are you talking that's about? That's fine, that's what... by your standards. But obviously, you want you want to talk about salah that you don't even know the steps or but how do you to see, pray. But do you see that the, the topic it says why Muslim pray? Why Muslim pray? It's useless because first, you are not praying, you are saying what Allah said, secondly, that what Allah said doesn't make sense, number three, Allah Himself He pray on you. Number four, Allah, when he when you pray, he is not there. According to your prophet, Allah, he come down every third part of the night to the lowest heaven, and he say, who's praying to me? So when you are praying, Allah is not listening. Allah, he can hear you only, according to Muhammad, only in the lowest heaven when he come down in the third part of the day, of the night. Is that correct? I'm not sure about all that. I don't. I don't get into things I don't know. Huh. So what? But, uh, if you would. Allow so me to so what are you sure? What are you sure about? I mean, come on. So I'm asking you about I'm simple. Sure, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure Jesus is not God and Jesus is a prophet. That's what I'm sure about. We can get into that. Okay, no problem. Do you have your Quran with you? Yes. All right. Do you have your Bible with you? I have it in my head. Okay. Okay. Focus with me. Isn't it the Quran says that you have to worship Allah? And Jesus? No, I, I want to get my question in. No, Why are you, you, you said you said Jesus. You know. No, I'm sorry. Okay, okay hold on. Hold okay. Okay, hold on. I'm asking you why why the Quran says you have I'm to sorry. worship. No, 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 no. This is a whole. It's not up to you. It's not up to you. What you, does John you cannot you cannot change my topic. You cannot. John, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I, Since I'm not. We, we I, you, that whole conversation. We're I don't care to, what you are going to I ask me. I'm here to get the Muslim busted. You don't believe in my Bible. I'm here to talk about the Quran, and everybody is laughing. You don't believe laughing. in my Quran. So, so what are you saying? 
you sound real stupid right now. Let us see who's stupid. The Quran no, says, let's, let's, the Quran okay, says, answer my that question. The, I haven't even the, gotten one question there, CP. You, How many questions I, have you asked? I don't me? care me, for your question. You are here. You call me. Right you call me, my friend. You, hey, I'm showing you, you from get, your book. Give them all questions. Our friend, I'm showing you if that you, Jesus. Why are you so scared of me asking questions? We are scared of Muslims. I'm showing you from your Quran that Jesus is God. If I show you from my Bible, do you believe in the Bible? Okay. You know what I just realized? I'm asking you, if I show you right now, be honest. Let us say, uh, let us make a challenge. Do you swear that if I show you proves that Jesus is God, you will accept the verse? One verse. Two verse, three verses. I want to show you even 20. No. Huh? No. So what the point? Here I'm showing you your book. Because I... Okay, no, no, I no, no. You see, my, my point what's is... What's your reason? My point is, my reason is... You Muslims no, what's your are, reason you for Muslims, not accepting you the Quran? You Muslims Quran. are hypocrite. You Muslims Bible. are hypocrite. So even if we show you the proof from the Bible, you don't accept the Bible. So why don't waste my time? Here we go. In the front of you, chapter wow. 9, verse number... Th hold on. Verse number 31, it says, They took their monks and their rabbis as God... Instead of Allah and the Messiah, how in the world the Quran says such a thing? Instead of Allah and the Messiah, they took what? They took their monks and their rabbis as gods instead of Allah. Min duni lahi wal Messiah. Go ahead. This is your Quran now. If I show you from the Bible, you don't believe it. So why I want to waste my time? Here we go. This is your Quran saying they took their monks and their rabbi, and look how the Muslim they translate. They add things is not there. In Arabic, it says it clearly: they took their monks and their rabbi as God, as lords, instead of Allah and Jesus. And then the Muslims they fabricate the translation. Don't tell me I want to say something. I want the answer. How in the world your Quran says such a thing? They took their monks and their rabbis. As God instead of Allah and Christ. Is that a mistake in Arabic? And then the Muslim they try to fix it in the translation and they try to add things, it's not there. This is the Arabic in the front of me. So what, what, do you, what do you have to what do you have to say about all those church fathers that add things into the Bible? What do you say about nobody? The Bible being nobody man can. Nobody be, can. Be oh, anybody uh, in the world knowing it's man-made. Listen, I will. I will. You're talking I will about hold on, things. hold on. Do you know I how will, stupid you sound, CP? Let us see who's a stupid. We have no proof the Quran has ever been rewritten, but we have even Christians to this day will tell you the yeah. We, yeah, we have rewritten the Bible. Okay. It's not the real, uh, no, it's not the real no, gospel. No Christian, on, will, no, no Christian will say that. No, in the same time, come you, on. in the same time, you just if got. They don't say that you just, just because you they don't just, read the Bible. You just they got don't your God. Read the Bible. Okay. They don't know. We can talk in the same time. You just got your Quran. No, no, no. Busted. That's what you, you want to do. You That's just got your Quran busted. You isn't it the Quran? You don't, have, you don't want to have a debate. Okay. Isn't it the Quran? Isn't it the Quran says that Allah confirmed the Bible? Hey man, you should be the last person as a Christian talking about. As in the Quran things. says that our book is correct, and you are saying to me, John my 14, book. I'm asking you, is it or, John don't, 4, 12. Don't, don't don't say stupid things. John People will laugh at you. Here we go. Right. Potato. This is the stupid Quran in front of you saying, and when come to them to the Jews and the Christians, the Quran. Confirming what is with them. Who is the stupid? Allah or Muhammad or the Muslims? This is the Quran. Confirming our book 600 years after Jesus. And the smart Muhammadan, they say, oh, you know, when they have the conference of, uh, you know, uh, uh, the church father they created the trinity and what the heck and then some of them they say is paul and here we go this is 600 years after the stupid quran confirming our book and i will not talk to you about the bible because the bible says don't throw your jewels under the feet of the swine for you are acting like one
because when you step on your Quran, your Quran, you are stepping in your Quran, saying your Quran is lying by accusing the Bible to be corrupt. How he confirm what is with us, not some of it. And then the Muslim, they try to duct tape, they say, oh, he meant like only what is right there. It says confirming what is with us. Not some of what with us. And not only that, your false prophet Muhammad, he took an oath in the Torah saying, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. So there a prophet, he take an oath in it. Abduls in YouTube, they spit at it. Hypocrites. It's in the front of you. He said to them, bring me the Torah. And they brought the Torah. And then he would draw the cushion. Look, Muhammad is trying to show a lot of respect to the Torah. Hypocrite in the front of the Jews. So he would draw the cushion from beneath of him and he placed the Torah on it saying, I believe in thee and in him who revealed thee. Hypocrites. And this is why we laugh at Islam. You Muslims and Muhammad is the same quality. Fasid, Fasiq, spoiled, no dignity. You change your skin color, depend in the situation like a lizard. So now he is with the Jews, he swear by the Torah. And then you ask the Muslims, why he swear by the Torah? If you watch the videos of Muslims explain, they will die laughing. They say, oh no, the prophet, he put his hand, he said, I, I take, I swear by thee. He don't mean all of thee. <laughs> what? I will not take an oath on the book translated by Jehovah's Witnesses or the Mormon. <laughs> Even though, or the Quran, the Quran have some truth in it. As an example, Mary is a virgin. Correct, guys? The Quran says Mary is a virgin, so there's some truth. Okay. But <laughs> I will never take an oath on the book of the devil. You take an oath on a book only if you believe truly in the book. Or you are a liar and you don't care. You don't care. Right? Mm. Uh, look at this guy. Islam as Salam saying, he will open a YouTube and show my perverted Bible. We just showed you your stupid Quran and your stupid prophet taking an oath in it and you call it perverted. And your prophet saying, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee and you say perverted. That's mean your prophet is a pervert. Correct, guys? That means your prophet is a pervert. For if the book he is taking oath on is a pervert book, and then your prophet he take an oath on the pervert book, that means clearly that your prophet is a pervert with certification. Maybe he graduated from Andrew Tate University. Because only pervert, they will take an oath in a pervert book. Prove me wrong. And now go and make up a job. Don't forget to take uh, seven ajwa. You are talking to Christian prince, my friend. You see the guy before you? He was screaming from pain. He can't even find the verse. He was nervous. He's excited to talk to me. He's not excited to talk to Allah. He's not there. Allah never answered a prayer for Muslims. The Muslim, they pray for peace. Missiles come in their head. The Muslim, they pray for rain, drought come. Hmm?
Do we have any Muhammadan? Yeah, he can say whatever. What do you expect a Muslim not to insult? They insult. It's okay. And my friend, you call me Miss. Isn't it your prophet to wear his wife clothing? I never put eye, makeup on my face. Your prophet, he put eyeliner. He would do sugar to his body, taking hair from it. His body, he color his hair blonde. He want to be redhead. He put iron at three times a day, and he pee like a woman, and he wear his wife clothes. And not only that, he said, "I never receive Quran except in the clothes of Aisha." And then you call me Mrs. And the top of that, your prophet, he enjoy men kissing him down his belly, and he take off his shirt, and they rub the chest of each other against each other. Very hot. Here we go. Who is the mess? Who is the mess? And the guy is kissing your prophet down, Billy. And he said, oh, this is what I wanted, prophet. Don't stop. This is your, this is, this, this is your reference, this is your books. You want me to show your prophet saying he never received Quran except in the cloth of Aisha. And then the Muslim, they explain it, it says a blanket. The best of them, he says, house. But that's mean. Muhammad is a liar. He never received anything from the angel Jibreel in the house of Khadijah and in the house and in the in the cave of Hara. Who is the next victim? They try to change the topic because Islam is an embarrassment. And here you have no choice. Don't try. You can, you know, those those things can work with other people. With me, it, they don't work. The devil, he tried to escape. Let us change the topic. No. Here I am holding the devil from his tail. And the devil is Islam. No topic change. You don't even know your religion. If you leave Islam and you deny, denounce Muhammad and Allah, then I will be happy to answer all your questions about the Bible. And that's what we do always. When a Muslim, he called me, he leave Islam. He asked me questions about the Bible and people my witness and we answer them. Do we have any Muhammadan? And you know, when the Muslim they say, they keep saying shaitan, shaitan, shaitan. Allah is shaitan. You know, who is the one who misled shaitan? Allah. So shaitan himself is a victim for Allah, of Allah. And they say to you, how Jesus can be God and he praying? Well, Jesus, he prayed to the Father. As an example, Jesus says to the Father, so Father, glorify your son. That is the prayer of Jesus. The same as the Son glorified thee. Okay, Allah, he prayed to who? Do he have a father? Very weird cult. And the second you ask them a question, you will find there is no, right away they will, they will go to different story. Allah is all-knowing, he said to me. Is your God is all-knowing? I mean, look who is talking. Allah is all-knowing, he think women she have a sperm. Allah is all-knowing, he think the sun goes in a muddy spring of water. Allah is all-knowing, he knew that there is a, a, a group of uh, weird creatures, they are called Gog and Magog, they will invade the world and they are now behind the dam. I cannot forget the video of uh, uh, Prophet Yasser Qadi, peace be upon him. When he start explaining why Muslims leave in Islam because of that chapter alone, it's a disaster. Because Muslim they grow and they hear there is a group of uh, creatures, Gog and Magog, scary. Their number is one thousand to one, which means if we are now eight billion, they are eight trillion. Where are they? Behind the dam. A dam is made from copper and iron. 
This is the God who is all-knowing, taking a fictional story, putting it in his book. And every day, those Gog and Magog, they dig a hole in the wall. And then they forgot to say, inshallah, before they leave. So Allah, he closed it. Look, what the heck? Allah, he closed it, my friend. Unbelievable because they forgot to say inshallah. Very true story. Those people they are digging now every day, every day, every day, and every day when they leave, they forget to say inshallah until one day their boss, the supervisor, he say, Inshallah, tomorrow we'll continue. And then when they come the second day, the hole will stay the way they left it the day before. And they will be able to go through. <laughs> hmm. True story. Any Muhammadan? Hmm. Who is a Muslim would like to join us to the sea? Where the sun set and Musa's his whale drop in the water after his dead whale have some drops from the fountain of youth all my life and this is why I stay always young I found the fountain of youth who found the fountain of youth except two the guy who made the part of the Caribbean and Prophet Muhammad Hmm? Is your God all knowing? The Muslim is asking me. Look all those stories, my friend. Hmm. Let us see. <clears throat> uh, let us go to the story. Oh boy. You know, one of the things I like actually, uh, you know, I like birds. Honestly, and I'm so happy that Osama bin Laden and all the Mujahideen, they will turn to be a pirate in the heaven of Allah. So this poor Muslim, his God, he promised him, he will go, he will go and find a lot of naked women. Their boobs is so big. Their ass is one mile. And then when he go to heaven, he find himself turned into a green bird, like a chicken. So now how are you going to have sex with those women? You are a green bird. In paradise. And those women are waiting for you. And the Abdul is asking me, is your God all-knowing? I mean, do you Muslims even have a brain? How you will have sex with them? You are a chicken now, and you have long line of women. Each one of them, her ass is one mile, as the Hadith says. And now you are going to have sex with them. What you are going to do? You use your peak? That will be interesting to use the peak. The woman, she will love it, by the way. Her husband is a rooster, green one. 
She take off her panty, he start using his peak. And what? The orgasm of the Muslim man in heaven as a bird is 70 years. I mean, can't you make it 69? At least it's more sexual. 70 years orgasm, so the sex is how long? Like you go to Zach and Naik, you knock at the door at Zach and Naik. Good and Prince. I don't dare knock and talk to you. Hey, Zach and Naik, what are you doing? I'm having orgasm. Are you stupid? Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, Zach and Naik. I will come next year. A year after. Good and Prince. I don't have an orgasm. What's wrong with you, man? Last year you was having orgasm. So I keep coming to Zach and Naik and having a knock at his door. Year after, 70 years orgasm. And the Muhammadan, they say Islam makes sense. I mean, don't you want to take a break, man? Don't you think this is very short? I mean, me, myself, I like it maybe, I mean, I don't know, maybe 50 years? This Muhammad, he's stuck with the number 70. 70 version, 70 years, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70. He heard Jesus saying 70, he stuck with 70. He heard the Jews say 100, he stuck with 100. He heard the guy saying 99, he stuck with 99. Muhammad is stuck. Muhammad once say, one day, this is how we're talking about prayer, right? Muhammad once he was praying in a funeral. A Jewish walked by. Well, he just he walked by. He did not do anything. He saw how Muhammad he prayed. So the Jewish guy he said, "This is how we do it." Muhammad, what he did? Sit down, sit down, act differently. What the heck? If you are a prophet of God, you change the way the prayer God he order you to pray. Just because the guy he said this is how we do it. So what if this is how they do it? And this is telling you that he is a fraud. The second he heard the Jew saying this is how he do it, he said to himself, "Oh, uh oh, they got me busted." I'm copying them. Let us change it. Before they notice more stuff. This is how we do it. Sit down, sit down, act different. Like he did not even wait for the angel to tell him like what to do, what not to. Right away, immediately. The guy did not even pass by. Sit down, sit down, act differently. I mean, isn't it, this is hilarious? The guy, he switched his prayer, which he learned supposedly from the answer of Zabril. Bees, bees, deep upon him. In the speed of light, like, okay, uh, you know, Zakir Naik is praying, I walk by. Zakir, Zakir, this is how we do it. Sit down, sit down, act differently, okay? Don't say, Alhamdulillah, and then Alhamdulillah, and then Alhamdulillah. What the heck? You change the way you pray in the speed of light just because the guy, this is how. What if Muhammad was doing poo and poo coming from his bum and the Jewish guy, he said, this is how we do it. Is he going to switch that too? Because you're supposed to act differently. Uh, Abdul in my country in Ghana accused me to be a liar my friend uh, who care what they say uh, everything I say is in the front of you liar that's mean if I'm lying it's mean those stories are lying so he's accusing his prophet what do you expect the Muslim to say they can't answer so they say he's lying it doesn't say that CP 
The Prophet said, the Quran said the sun set in murky water. No, no. The Quran says as if it is. Okay, what is the word as and where is if it is? And even Muhammad himself, he explained it. He said clearly, the sun set in a boiling water spring. This is Muhammad talking. This is not a guy in YouTube. So what the Muhammad and they try to do is to duct tape their religion. They don't pray. Their prayer is a is a is a is a, is a gas. Actually, their prayer and gas is connected. Look at this. Muhammad Muhammadan is a prayer, right? What happened? The second a Muhammadan start praying, shaitan start farting. Can you believe it? Muhammad said, when Satan hear the call to prayer, look how powerful the call of prayer, Muslim man. Amazing. Look at this. He turned back and he break winds. <laughs> That's deep and steep and smelly coming from the belly. What the heck is that? Shaitan, he fought when you pray. Now we know what is behind the global warming, the methanol of the shaitan. You Muslim, you better stop praying, man. How much shaitan, how much, how much methanol he have in his bum? So if a billion Muslim every day they pray, and this shaitan, he fought immediately. This is deep knowledge. This is spiritual. This is the knowledge of Allah given to Muhammad. Muhammad, he said, Allah, he come on, come here, Muhammad, come on. I will tell you something nobody know. Oh, okay, tell me. When you pray, shaitan do fart. <gasps> really? Yes. Now I know why I smell so bad when I pray. Exactly. So don't take a shower. That shaitan farting on you. May Allah bless you and shaitan fart you and wash you with his fart. Shaitan fart? And then there is a video on YouTube of, a, of the Muslim guy. I don't know if you saw the video. We will not play it so they will not make copyright over it. You know, he's, he's telling you, they go in the bathroom, you know, and when you say, so you want to do, do, you want to pray? And now, shaitan, I'm going to beat you, and shaitan, he fall. Mm -hmm. That's your religion. Am I adding things? Am I am showing you uh, my story? Here we go. This is Sahih Hadith. This is your Muslim website. And this is your translation. And what is the purpose to distract you? How he can distract you? You cannot even hear it. I mean, look how low the IQ of those who they are believing in Muhammad. How shaitan can distract you if he fart and nobody hear the fart or the smell the fart anyway. In different hadith, Muhammad, he said that when a Muslim, he pray, shaitan, he come from his back and he take hair from his anus. Who is a Muslim when I do slow motion video recording? When he pray, prove to us that shaitan come out from your behind and take hair from your anus because we can see it slow motion. So now you are praying to Allah. Listen carefully. Hmm? You are praying to Allah. Let us find a, something small. Okay, this page here, this page. Oh, that's one. Let us do it here. Hold on. Uh, I'm just find, uh, trying to find a page which is empty. So now you are praying. Busy. You are a good guy. Okay. You are doing the right thing, brother. So you bend over. This is your head. This is your bum. And then the filthy shaitan, the coward, the evil, he come and he is throw, start straightening out hair from your anus. 
and he will start pulling it out. He put his foot on your anus and he take the hair one by one. Who can prove that this has happened to Muslim when he pray? I mean, you don't even feel it? Why, your ass is an ass of an elephant? What the heck of that? <sighs> uh, answer me. Your Bible had 80 books. Now it is 60 books. Okay. Smart genius, Muslim. Mommy, my friend, if I want, I can make my book a million book because we can add the books of the church father, but those are not the Bible. We have a books, it's called the books of tradition, and you are an ignorant like your prophet. So there's things, books written by church father have nothing to do with anything except tradition. So the Bible mean a book of books is not a book, you idiot. So now I can take the book of John and make it by itself, or I can join it with the Gospels, the four Gospels, and still I call it Bible. But that does not mean they are gone. They are there. But it's your Quran is gone. Aisha, she said that the chapter of Al-Fatiha used to be equal. Sorry, not Al-Fatiha. The, the cow used to be equal, or the Ahzab used to be equal to the chapter of the cow, which means at least 220-something verses missing in one chapter. It's your Aisha who said that the goat... May Allah curse this God. She ate the Quran, and now there is many tons of verses are missing. Especially the verses of a breastfeeding for adult, which I love very much, especially when I'm hungry. Actually, if this verse is still there, I will convert to Islam tomorrow. The verse of stoning and breastfeeding for adult ten times. And the funny, the Muslim, they say, no, no, no. This is not about breastfeeding. This is about his drinking uh, milk. First of all, this woman, she don't have milk, you idiot. Do you think the women, they have a faucet anytime they open it, water come out? The woman, she don't even have kids. How she can give milk? Ten time. Ten time. So we were busy with the Prophet Death Aisha, may Allah pleased with her in her grave, said the verses of a stone in breastfeeding for adult. Please don't mention those verses to Andrew Tate. He will open a company about them. A new webcam business, and he will call it breastfeeding for the hungry men. Forty-nine dollars for a suckling, part-time, full-time. This is this is God. You are calling. Oh, this is you. Okay, he's calling, guys. Ismail is calling. Uh, no, this is not you. You never called me. You are a liar. I thought you are, this is you. It was a Christian person. Anyway. Breastfeeding for adult. Are you sure? And this is from God? Shall we pray to those breasts or no? I mean, there is a procedure we have to do. Shall we tickle them first, those nipples? Boing, boing, boing. And then Aisha, she start ordering her nieces and her sisters to breastfeed in anyone want to attend into her. Thank God, Trump 
is not a Muslim. Otherwise, his daughter, she have to nurse everybody. And then you will see the whole Saudi Arabia in the door of Trump. Actually, one of them, he wanted to build a mosque in the name of Ivanka Trump. One other one, he asked for her hand, even if she is married. Mental. I have texted. No, you did not text me. You never text me. You are texting the wrong person. The admin will give you the code for Skype. You can search it. Yeah, I'm the only one who put his Patreon at the end of uh, when I finish. <laughs> I don't even mean it's who put it. The admins posted. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> anyway, so as you see, the Muslim prayer is useless. Muhammad, he died sick. It took him many years sick, and Muhammad, he prayed to Allah. Allah never healed him. Never help him. Muhammad even cannot walk from a house to a house. They have, they drag him like a dead man. Muhammad was suffering with the poison he ate. And Allah never healed him. So what the prayer of the Muslims can do? Any Mohammedan? Except what, my friend? Okay, give me your Skype, I will find you. Give me, don't give me your drama. The admin keep posting you my Skype, and you say to me, accept it. Accept what? I receive nothing from you. Here we go. This is my Skype. Stop playing games. Copy it. Or click on it. I don't know if that will work. And call me. Anyway, uh, no, I don't want your email. What I will do with your email? Anyway, anyway, you can call me tomorrow if I come live one hour. To, you know, because I just remember I did not do breastfeeding for today. Hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I don't know why. What I don't know when I talk about breastfeeding, I feel so angry and thirsty. I'm not sure really. I'm wondering. I mean, what is the reason? Do you think like this is something haram? Hmm. And why ten time? What about nine? Do you think there is a like mystery in the number ten time? Oh, man. Ten time. Amar Rabbi Amar. Look at this. Look at this. Mm, very beautiful, open-minded religion. Everybody, suckle everybody. You know, like we are one family. You go to your neighbor. Can I suckle your wife? Uh, sure, sure. What are you talking about? You do not need to ask for permission. Hey, honey, give him your boobs. Mm. And the funny about this religion, they say to you, that the you know there was ten and then become five. Allah abrogated them by five. I mean, have you ever heard of a God? Even He changed His number. Why it was ten? He made it five. Why He thought like He said to Himself, ten is too much. Allah, I mean, what kind of religion is obvious? This guy is making things up. If Allah is the one who decided they are ten, why He made them five? And where we can find the five five uh, time? But, uh, no, 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 no. 
Ra, 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 ra. One sip or two sip don't make a for patient. Sip, what sip? Suck. In Arabic, it says al masa wal masatan, not sips. Is sip mean suckling? Sucking? Oh boy. Anyway, I hope you had a good time. Don't forget to download my video and don't forget to make a, a comment about what you heard. And uh, I encourage all Muslims to download my video, especially those who call me uh, because you made victory as always. I never saw a Muslim, he called me, he did not win. Never, 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 never. They always win. The same they win with Israel. Non-stop winning. So feel free to download my videos, pause them in your channel, and if you are a Muslim, invite your sheikh to call me. And don't tell me I do not know. I thought Allah knows best, and you, he, he taught you best. So when you say Allah, the one who teach you best, he taught you, taught you nothing, obviously Allah is not all-knowing. He is all ignorant. Uh, anyway, do we have any Muslim before we go? May they, may the last call. You cannot find me, Ismail Ali. I, I think you will never find me. I mean, the guy, I gave him the verse number, the chapter number. I repeat it 10 times. 20 times, still he cannot find it. And you will find me. I mean, you're a Muslim. I'm not surprised. Have you ever heard of a Muslim? He can't find anything. Hmm? A Muslim. You swear by Allah you are serious? This is why I don't believe you, because you swear by Allah. Isn't it the Quran says you can take false oath and Allah will take you accountable only for your intention? Have you ever, guys, this is satanic religion. This God, he encouraged them to take false oath and saying to them, Allah will not take you accountable for your false oath. He will take you only for what you meant. So he taken oath, says, I swear by Allah I was looking for you. But in your heart, no. So you are fine. <laughs> this is the religion of the devil. This is the religion of the devil. Allah will not call you to account of your thoughtlessness in your oath, but your intention in your heart, it's in front of you. And you are telling me, I swear by Allah. A Muslim, he swear to you from now until a million year, never believe him. Because this is a satanic religion, they are allowed to take a false oath. In fact, if a Muslim starts swearing, that means now he is immediately lying. That is the clear sign that he is not telling the truth. Do you see the difference between the teaching of Jesus and this evil Muhammad? In the case of Jesus, he forbid us from taking an oath. Either you say yea, yea, or nay, nay. Anything else is from the devil, and that is the devil. Because a Christian man should be truthful. No, no. Why do I want to take an oath? You take an oath, and not only that. Look, even the family is destroyed. The man, he can lie to his wife. Who in the world, who accepts such an ethic? This is ethic. If I lie to my wife and my wife, she lied to me. So what we have here? A lying corporation? Even the, the, the very household is corrupt. The man, he can lie to his wife and the wife, she can lie to her husband. So where we can find decency? You cannot find it.
This is why only liars, they say, false teachers, even they are priests, or it doesn't matter who they are, Christian priests, they call themselves Christian, they are devilish people. They say to you, Islam is Abrahamic. They are liars. We have nothing to do with this devilish cult. Christ is holy. His name is holy. His act is holy. His life is holy. His word is holy. And he is the holy even in the faith of the Quran. And right now he is living. He is the living word of God, the living God, as we speak. Even the silly Muhammad and they believe he's alive. We feel sorry for the Muslims. They follow a dead man. And not only that, they pray on him every Friday. Asking Allah to give him a good place. Look like this guy himself is not granted as a place. With Jesus, you know your place. Whoever believe in me and die, he will live. I am the life. I am the truth. I am the resurrection. And I am the way. That is Jesus, my friend. And then the Muslim, they say to you, where Jesus says, I'm God, worship me. I am the resurrection. So you follow a prophet who his specialty is taken here from the anus. And we follow the Messiah, our Holy Lord. The Lord, he said, let the dead bury the dead. And the Muslims are going to bury their prophet, dead prophet, every day. And he will bury them later. With the Messiah, you are a living person. Even death will not take you. Death is just a new step of life. With the Messiah, you are a living being forever. With Muhammad, you are a sexual predator a sexual monster, a sexual edict, a sexual toy, a sexual pervert. Even the name of word heaven is destroyed. You go to the heaven of Muhammad, you smell nothing but semen, orgasms, the god of the hippies, He want evil men to fight for him and die for him. He fooled them with sexual promises. When somebody says to you, we have the same God, remember, our God is a spirit, their God is not. Our God is holy, their God is not. Our God, he is what we get all our ethic from. Their God have zero ethic. If we have the same God, we should have the same heaven. We don't. Their heaven is hell. So we invite all the Muslims to come to Christ before it is too late. Your false prophet is dead and he told you when he died, before he died, that Allah said that the body of a prophet will not decay. And then the Muslim they did not bury him for three days like Jesus. They thought he's like Jesus. He will come back to life. He told them his body will not decay. Three days pass. And Muhammad, he gets stinky. And then his cousin Ibn Abbas, he said, bury him. For he stink as all a human, they stink, which means he was a liar. So those who want to follow the stinky prophet, stinky they will be. And those who want to follow the holy God, with the holy God will be. Thank you all for being here. No, I'm done for today. Sorry, Tabi. It's enough. And until I will try to come tomorrow if I could. God knows we will see, you know, because I I'm waiting for a, there's a truck. I don't I don't know. I heard the news. There's a truck is going to deliver breastfeeding for adult, you know, and I did not register my name. So I have to stand in the road. 
you know? I mean, what if they pass by and I'm not like there? So I'm going to put a chair and sit there like, you know, if the truck pass by, I want to take my share 10 times, you know, 10 times. If they gave me nine, I'm going to sue Joe Biden. Isn't him he was quoting Muhammad? He does, and he do, for he's evil like Muhammad. Thank you all. May the Lord bless you, and we see you soon again. Christ is Lord, and Islam is a fraud, and we prove it every day. Take care. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know 